It's time for more Rogue Legacy. Let's continue our quest. Today we have a Barbarian who has Chakram. And looks like I've got a Double Jump Flying, Haste Rune, uh, some Vampirism. Right, we got the Vampirism, which I'm thrilled about. And the Barbarian's going to have some Inherent Vampirism. So we should be able to last a long time, in theory. Right, and we have the Blood Sword, too. Okay, so a lot of possible advantages for this particular hero. I think he should start out by trying to explore the forest, and then we can back off into the easier castle if it becomes necessary, if the hit points get too low. It is the case that since this character is colorblind, it's going to be a little harder to see and discern the dangers. Okay, defeat all enemies. Who do we have in this room? I see the bloob. There's a bloob over here as well. Given that there are um, spikes on the floor, it's possible that when these enemies see me and try to come towards me, they will simply fall on the spikes and die. Uh, or that I could knock them there. Like that. So that's really good. That defeats a bunch of them right off the bat. All right, you're probably an Earthazor, yeah. Oh boy. And there's another one, and there's a Soul Lock. Oh boy. Ouch. All right, Soul Lock and the Earthazor. One of you or both of you need to go. Oh, I've already lost half my health in this room. <laughs> that is not great. Um, and it's really hard to see the... Oh boy. All right, maybe not the best room gonna say it's hard to see the um, spike balls coming as they just blend in with everything else so instead I'll move on to an easier room for a moment and try to get some of my HP back and also find some silver bracers nice so yeah if we can stay alive and find a bunch of equipment in this zone that would be great um, okay. I'm going to at least kill the Earthazor. That's my goal. Okay, Earthazor down. And now with only one guy to deal with, I can just kind of wait out the soul lock for a minute. He casts some big projectiles, but they are very slow. Which means I can just time things. And then get a haste room on the gate. Alright. Nice. Uh, this guy could be scary. Alright, but it wasn't too bad. Going down deeper into this room would be scary, so I choose not to do it. Also, visionary. If I wait, and I can find... Oh boy, darn it. Good moment to come in here. Okay, let's be patient. Because I do have the equipment to fly up here and get a sprint rune. Very nice. And we're back up to almost max HP. So the vampirism is really working for us. Alright, very good. Uh, okay, I did not really want the blaze lock coming my way this early. But I don't get a choice. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Alright. That was pretty poor. Alright. Not bad. 127 HP. And I need to remember I have a chakram. Right. I have a chakram. Use the chakram. It's a good magic spell. It can help me out. I don't really want to go down, and so let's go back up. I really am worried about mistiming this jump. That'll be okay. Okay. I was thinking about just teleporting back to the start, but then I decided that would be too lame. Okay, that room's a little bit scary. Can I find, like, a chicken leg or something? Yeah, before I go in that room. And actually, let's just go ahead and peek what's up here. 
Uh, tall guard. Would you like to get hit in the back? He says he doesn't like it, but too bad. That's what we're doing anyway. Can't always get what you want. Alright, this is a good place to use a chakram on the ward. And I got chicken leg. Very nice. Um, can I one-shot you now? Yes. At least if I get a critical, I can. Getting a critical. All part of the plan. Alright, you're trapped up here. And easy to kill. Yeah, and just like that, health is back up in really good shape. See how long it stays that way. Alright. Um, the archer and the chain text together. And a warg. It's gonna make it difficult, I think, to go down there. So it's just not. Instead, oh! Botus got me last time. There'd be some good loot in here, though. I think it's worth trying to kill him. Ah, darn it. Okay, I missed. Anticipated what he was about to do. Okay. Alright, he's most of the way down. Oh boy. Get him! He's almost dead. There we go. Okay, I got some kind of stat for killing him. And I got a ranger sword. Okay, but now I really am super low on life. So this is an appropriate time to go back into the castle and try to kill some easy enemies. But we got some good stuff out of that. So as long as I can succeed in, like, the first room over here. Oh, we have EHS. That's nice. Platforms stay open because our body conducts electricity. And that might be really good in this room. Who's in here? Just the painting? I can handle a painting. No problem. Alright, this room's slightly scarier, but not too bad. And we're already getting a fair number of hit points back. And since the castle enemies are so much weaker, we're one-shotting a number of them. And that's going to make it easy. Start getting our points back through vampirism and the occasional chicken leg. Alright. Um, I am not in the mood to gamble. And I'm just in the mood to start trying to explore downwards. The visionary in that room, I think, will be tough to cope with. So I think I'll choose to skip him. Oh, I just walked right into that guard box. That was foolish. And this is a dead end over here. So we need to retrace our steps a little bit. Uh, with the visionary, if I stood in one place... This could work. It's a little bit slow. I should try to get a second hit on him. Well, I can only get a second hit on him if I actually land the first hit. There we go. Alright. That wasn't so bad. Timing tends to be the thing I'm the worst at in this game. Like when there's simple repeating patterns like this, somehow I'll manage to jump into the fireballs at the wrong moment. Uh, defeat all enemies. Who is in here? I have a chakram, and we need to use a chakram. <gasps> I don't have any magic to spend on the chakram. That's a problem. Um, that's a problem that is solvable, though. Okay, so this is kind of downwards when we first go into the castle. So when I get some magic back up that I can cast a few chakrams... We could go back and solve that particular fairy chest room. So I'll try to put it on my mental to-do list. Alright, projectile enemy, you need to go. Same with you. Same with you. And you're typically the highest priority targets. Alright, there's some of my magic back. That's not a lot of my magic back, though. We don't get a ton of magic for 
total magic up. So I gotta be careful. Hit points, it's hard to see, but I'm back up to like halfway up. So that's good. We've made a ton of progress there. Each enemy we kill, it's getting better. And it looks like up is a fair way to go next. So let's give that a try. Very nice. Alright, who's gonna be up here? Projectiles. It's another room. Take no damage. Once again, Shockroom would work really well in here, although these guys are going to be more difficult to kill. Um, oh, it's another dead end. Okay. It might also be possible just to dodge all the Chain Texas Spike Balls, but that is not something that I'm going to be up to the task of doing. Ah, uh, Shari. And Blood Bullets. Okay. Got to take out the Scout. Okay, great. Feel a thousand times better without that projectile in the arena. Let's do some well-timed pogos to avoid the fireballs. Oh boy. Alright. Avoid the pogos and get rid of the projectile enemies. Or avoid the pogos. I'm, I'm doing pogos. Oh! Darn it. Ah. Yeah, this game gives you just enough leeway, typically, with your hero's hit points, that you can afford to take some damage and make some mistakes. But at the same time, feel like you need to be skillful to make progress. I don't know, this game, the fact that the enemies do scale up with the character's level, so as you get stronger, the enemies start getting stronger, although not at exactly the same rate. Um, but at the same time, you also kind of just get more familiar with all the rooms and things. It really does a good job of, uh, in my opinion, kind of always staying in the sweet spot of being challenging but doable. Okay, I'm going to take the magic. This is a teleport. We're just going to peek. Okay, that's the land of darkness, and it's going to be, especially in the dark, too difficult to navigate. If we can find one more uh, magic or punishments, then I think we can go back to that bottom fairy chest room. Okay, so that's kind of my current favorite top priority. However, if our hit points, yeah, our hit points are all the way back up to the maximum, so yeah, I think actually the smart thing to do to take advantage of that is to do some more exploration back in the forest, and it looks like I could go right, right, down, right. Uh, oh, I could use this magic too. We'll go ahead and carry it along with us in case it helps us in the forest. Oh boy! Okay, I've been in this room, but I have not cleared it and did not remember that. Are there any other enemies below? No, it's just these two. So if you guys want to come down towards me, that would be great. It's not in your best interest, but I'm happy for you to do it. If I were you, I would just stay far, far away and shoot at me from there where I can't get you. But the enemies, not that smart. Sky chest plate. Very nice. Um, we'll peek into a few more rooms of the forest. This one's pretty easy. <laughs> Not much value in it, though. There's some more magic. And some more HP. Alright. Four gets down. Can I hit this guy through the floor? I cannot. Let's keep an eye out for these arrows. Getting shot by this archer. Oh boy, Warg. They run so fast. Ugh. Alright. They do make a good noise when you kill them, though. That's important. It actually is important, right? I'm thinking about uh, Terraria all of a sudden. The uh, spider enemies. Who, um... I guess they make the same enemies as, like, the, or the same noise as a vulture when it dies, I think. And it just seems like an inappropriate noise for them, but it's so funny that it makes it really satisfying to kill them. That's an aspect that I don't usually think about or 
talk about too much in video games. Oh, hello, great for assistance. This could be really good. Let's see what we got. <gasps> Nerdy glasses, they fix all of our vision issues and now all of a sudden we can see in color. I'd forgotten that that was a thing that existed. That is super great. I guess there's, there's actually a lot of different um, characteristics that your characters can have that affect the player's vision. Um, and so having the nerdy glasses, which just fixes them all, uh, is pretty great. Also, we got rune. That's great. It's a balance rune. That's actually really good, because that's part vampirism, part siphon. Uh, siphon. So we can get both HP and MP back uh, from killing enemies. That's actually a super valuable rune. And I will definitely want to buy that at the end of this run. And it seems like we're making good money and we'll be able to afford to buy some runes and equipment after this run. So that's super great. Uh, and I do have the magic to spend on that one fairy chest room, so I haven't forgotten about it. Nerdy glasses, honestly, kind of fashionable too. Look at me. <laughs> you can see my big eyes. All right, we're right, we talked about before. I can probably hit him twice. Yeah. That's not so bad. I was so worried about that room at first. No problem. There's a long enough period in between the moments when they shoot. Uh, it's going to take forever to kill you that way, so let's try killing you this way. My normal strike is much more damaging than my down strike. Oh, the work! He's going to jump up. Alright, work. Come at me! Not now! <laughs> oh, it's so hard to time. Oh, chicken leg. We were rewarded, though, for being brave. Oh, gosh. Um, That's a scary room. That's a really scary room. I choose not to do that room, uh, so I'm going to go meet you guys in the fairy chest room. Okay, here is the fairy chest room where I needed magic in order to kill those guys who are all in a row. So if I cast a chakram, I can see that we got half damage on all of them, and so hopefully this will hit all of them. There we go. Kills them all. And we get another balance room. Fantastic. That is really good. Okay, where's the next place I'm going? Um, it looks like there's some places in a number of directions, but I'll meet you over there. Okay, here's one of the branching paths that we had not yet taken. Guard boxes, not currently a threat. So I can just sit at the bottom. Ouch. I'll try to deal with these guys. There we go. Can sneak up on the guard boxes from the bottom. Not a very effective enemy placements in that particular room. Which is good for me. That said, our hit points still are not super great. Um, there's just a chest at the top of that, and I'm not very good at dodging those things. So we're going to skip that room and see what's over here. Oh, gosh! I walked right into the zombie. I was overzealous. Fast movement speed can be very effective when it comes to evading enemy projectiles. It also can mean that you can overdrive your headlight, so to speak. Go rushing into a room without seeing what's in front of you. And sometimes stuff like that happens where you run face first into a zombie that you didn't see coming. Trade-offs. So yeah, I guess that's another thing that's... Uh, especially with the way the Barbarian's been rebalanced so that he gets some HP every time he hits an enemy. Uh, in that regard... By increasing your strength, it'll take fewer hits to kill an enemy, and as a result, you won't be able to vampire out quite as much stuff. Um, it appears that we kind of... Oops, wrong button. Ran out of places to explore in this branch of the castle. Um, oops. So let's go back to the start of the castle, and this time choose to go upwards. Somewhere that I failed to do so before? Yeah, you go up, up. So let's go up this way. Let's see what else we discover. Oh boy. Alright. Fortunate that I can one-shot these guys. It 
some money. We're already up to 6,000 gold. And this is the carnival game that I don't mind as much. So let's play this carnival game. And also, I think we're allowed to cheese it. Well, allowed. By spending one axe before we walk in, and then we get our five axes. That's pretty good. That one wasn't as good. And... I think I did it. 90 targets, yeah! We won a prize! What's our prize? It's just money. That's still pretty good. More importantly, I felt good about myself for succeeding at the little mini game. That's why we're playing games, right? Have fun. And it always feels fun when you feel like you've done a good job. Sometimes it's fun even when you don't. <laughs> for example, when you're killing enemies that make a fun noise. Yeah. Like... Yeah, sometimes gameplay is just inherently enjoyable. Kind of regardless of whether you're winning and losing. Bounty rune. That's a rune that would give us more gold uh, for killing enemies. So that's another one that could be valuable. Because uh, here in the early game, there's just so many things to unlock. You need so much money. That stuff that's going to upgrade the amount of money that you get could be a good choice. Even in favor of some of the alternatives. Uh, I want to clear out this room, but then I'll probably start working my way from the bottom up. Ouch! I did not realize you were there. Okay, this is a very tall room. Are you the final enemy? You are. Alright, instead I'm just going to work my way from the bottom up, but I don't feel like going all the way back down. So instead, we're just going to continue going up. There's some magic back, which is good been low on magic. This character has no good ways to replenish it, really. Um, so I'm kind of constantly with the threat of running out. Ooh, I almost hit my head on the ceiling. Alright. Curse rune. Oops, ouch. Well, that was foolish on the way out, but we still managed to get the runes. That's what's important. Oh boy, I see the guard box. Okay. I immediately started killing the guy on the left, and then realized the guy on the right was the bigger threat since he had projectiles. But I was unable to correct. I can't kill all of these guys with my current spell. Unable to correct my initial miss... miss, uh... strategy? <laughs> Not sure exactly what the word is I was going for there. Made a bad choice at the start of that room, and it was hard to recover. Alright, this is a nice room. I feel like we're gonna find some more magic in here for some reason. My spidey senses are like, there's gonna be a magic potion that drops from one of these pieces of furniture any moment now. Is the spidey sense correct? No! It was unfounded optimism. Uh, it could be still this one. Alright, that's the last piece of furniture. No potions dropped made a liar of me, or at least a failed predictor. So do not ask me for this week's lottery numbers, is the moral of the story. Last week's, however, I could totally be on that. Alright. <laughs> Sometimes the commentary just goes ridiculous and silly, for reasons unknown. And I feel like we are currently there. Okay, this is a room where I'm super happy to have EHS. Oh, boy. <laughs> that said, I shouldn't let it get me overconfident. Because there's still other enemies coming after me. But yeah, I can just stand up here and then figure out the right moment. Ouch. Or the wrong moment. Come down and attack these enemies. So yeah, otherwise I'd have to downstrike each of these platforms that's currently sitting open for me. So this is a really good character trait. And should I fight Botus again? I really struggled with him last time. Let's see if I do a focus on using the sword. I ran out of double jumps and flying.
All right, this is actually working pretty well. Okay, I know his patterns. He's only got two. Cool. Sage Cape, nice. We are discovering lots of equipment, and that's good, because we're kind of pulling all that equipment out of the pool of possible things that we could find in chests. Which is good, because, frankly, a lot of it's equipment that I'm never going to use. Um, so the more of it we find, the more chances there will be that we'll actually find the good equipment that I do want to use. Um, and that's where... That's where the money is. Well, the money's in the chests, but that's where the uh, likely routes to progress are going to be. And good equipment that will help our future descendants destroy all the enemies even more effectively. Whether it be through damage output or movement speed or various abilities such as flying and dashes, vampirism and siphon, etc. Alright. And it occurs to me um, that in the mod, since you beat the bosses, it gives you an automatic teleporter to the next area. It's kind of a little bit uh, Metroidvania-ish in that regard, in terms of just like uh, unlocking fast travel to new areas kind of thing. I hadn't really thought about that explicitly in my head until just now. Uh, why did I never get the chest that was up here? Oh, because there were, uh, right, pupils who were firing blood bullets and spikes on the wall. This is a mini-boss that I'm not bad at. Oops. Allegedly. Okay, that was a good dodge. Let's hide out here. Deal some damage, hide out here. Deal some damage, hide out here. Alright, the strategy is going to run out of space, and also these guys have gotten out of sync. Oh boy! Alright, let's run over to this side. I can totally do this. Alright, I haven't been able to focus fire on one of them very well. It would be better. Alright, now I'm hitting both of them. That's also that's also good. <laughs> there we go. Um, and we just got a bunch of money. I guess we've killed enough mini-bosses here in the castle that we've kind of run out of equipment for drops. Uh, so at this point we'll probably be getting money or stats when we kill mini-bosses in the castle. Uh, but money and stats are good too. But still not quite as exciting as finding equipment. Um, oh, we're in the Maya. This character... Mm, is likely to die in the Maya, especially in that room. So let's instead go re-explore some of the missing rooms of the castle, but then we should also head back into the forest and try to do more work over there, probably. Oh! It's the boss room. Some free chests, and we have a new chicken leg. And, um... Oh boy! Oops! chicken leg and magic potion to fall back on that will always be in those two statues. And let's see, I could use them now. Let me wait until I'm a little bit lower on different things. Fairy chest no looking. We can just dash backwards to get past the chest. Bounty rune. Yeah, this character is having tremendous success. Yeah, Barbarian tends to be one of my characters I play best with in the early game, just because of the enormous hit point pool, plus the vampirism. The enormous hit point pool gives me some forgiveness to make a few mistakes, the vampirism gives me the opportunity to play carefully and choose easy rooms in order to earn my hit points back, and then I can rinse and repeat. Oh boy. Alright, good dodging in that room. Um... Where's, like, the main entrance to the Maya? It must be over there. Yeah. Okay, let me meet you guys somewhere else. Okay, here's more of the forest that we have not discovered. We got some chain text guys here, but they're both on the right-hand side of the screen right now, which gives me a little bit of room on the left to go after them. Oops. 
Okay. We did it. And now down here. Blinky's not so bad. Oh gosh, skeleton is. Mr. Bones. Oh, and I jumped right into the thingy. <laughs> Alright. Fortunately, they didn't deal a ton of damage. Let's explore. Ooh, random teleporter. Uh, toward the end of the run, that might be tempting. Right now, there's probably a lot of other rooms we can still have a high probability of great success. Guardian Bracers in the forest, and so I want to make sure that I explore the forest pretty thoroughly before we go gallivanting off into regions unknown. This is another room I don't like, but we need to progress in the forest, so let's go down and right and just try to avoid all the blood bullets. Okay, great. Oh, gosh. All right, you can hit me through the wall with your bones. Here come bones. Yikes. Okay. Okay. Bones. Uh, yikes. Uh, okay. I did it. Okay. I think there's some furniture here. Yeah. Glad I chose to go back to that piece of furniture. It contained a chicken leg. Chicken leg. I call it furniture, like in the forest, like sometimes it's like plants growing or something, but I don't know, in the castle it's furniture and I just call everything furniture. Take no damage. This is a room that I've done successfully many times. And hopefully calling that out won't jinx it. Aha! Did it! Bounty rune, okay. Lots of bounty runes. Oh, gosh. So if I want to go for gold, is a distinct possibility. Another random teleporter. Once again, not taking it yet. There's still more we could succeed in here in the forest. Step one, get rid of the projectile enemies. I am just going to hit you from the front because you're going to be really hard to get behind. It will take many hits, but eventually we'll succeed. You, on the other hand, ha! Gotcha. All right, two different directions to go. I choose this one arbitrarily. Okay. There are multiple Urthazors. Let's get at least one of them out of the battlefield. Come on. Oh gosh, it takes so many hits. Okay. He's dead. Other Urthazor, I'll go after you after I deal with the scout, because the scout is easier to kill. Okay, fantastic. And you are easy to finish off alone. Um, sure. I can knock you into the spikes, and you will eventually die, which is very fair. If I take damage from the spikes, you should too. Oh, wait. Ah, uh, the war... the uh, worgen. Uh, oh, so many hits. Okay, I did at least kill him. I'm not sure. Yeah, that's a tough room. I should have just exited that room at the start. Knowing your limitations is good both in life and in certain video games. Um, how much damage would I deal to this guy? Not enough. Okay. We're going to exit that room as well. I prefer my shock room to the side. And we'll go explore more of the forest up here. Uh, this one could work out in my favor. However, it's got a really difficult start. Okay, so we're gonna do this. Try to lose the worgen. Oh gosh! Alright, well, we killed the worgen. That's a way to lose him. Oh gosh, I'm about to die. Yep, crap. Well, we got a lot of work done in that one. We can't be too upset. Um, ooh, could be our first shinobi. And peripheral arterial disease is pretty good. Yeah, we're gonna choose this character. Um, okay. First priority, I think, is runes. I definitely don't need a haste rune uh, with the shinobi because they automatically run fast. And so let's find where we have the haste rune equipped currently. It is right here. And we're going to change this one to... I think let's do the bounty rune so that we can get more money. And then I had unlocked some vampirism somewhere... That's the one I've already got equipped. No, I'd unlock some balance, right. So, 
I could switch this to a balance rune, which would lose a double jump, which is okay, because we have flight. So that would be acceptable. And then... So we'd have flight, extra gold, balance, which is a little bit of vampirism and a little bit of siphon. Vampirism. And a dash. That's, that's an acceptable build. And so instead of a double jump, we'll just have flight like that. All right, so I'm happy with that set of runes. Then in terms of superior equipment, uh, the ranger sword is a straight upgrade. There is no reason not to go ahead. Um, we would lose some vampirism from the sword, right? But as a shinobi, it increases my health pool tremendously and increases damage output, so I think we got to do it because shinobi does not have a great health pool. And we have some more vampirism coming off of our runes now. In terms of other equipment, sky chest, 10 more armor. It's hard to turn that down. We have the weight capacity, so let's go ahead and grab that. And then over here, uh, the guardian limbs would be tremendous. They require 35 more weight. And so I would have to get three weight upgrades, but I believe I have the money to afford them. Just like that. And then let's go and try to equip these limbs. That's 18 more armor and five more magic. That's terrific. And finally, Sage Cape is extra gold. Ranger Cape is crits. Knight Cape is crits. Squire Cape is crits. Blood Cape is vampirism, but lose some health. Yeah, none of these capes are super great. Eventually the Sky Cape will come along and that one's gonna be really good. But until then, I think I'll spend my money on different upgrades. Potion up is super great, and that spends just about all the rest of my money. Um, so yeah, now we have a shinobi. Uh, shinobi hits really hard, moves super fast, um, and this case has a scythe that will actually be able to refill some hit points now that we have balance room or some magic points just from killing enemies now that we have balance room. So I think we'll be well prepared for the next run, um, but I think we're out of time for today. So I'm going to say I hope as always that you guys are having a great day, and I will see you again soon with more modded Rogue Legacy. For now, bye-bye.